Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Some of our happiest, saddest, and scariest moments occur in hospitals. What's worse is that they're not even that inviting. I mean, white walls, fluorescent lighting, no comfortable seating to be found. You'd think the place where we welcome good and exceptionally bad news would be more visually pleasing. Regardless, the fact that they originate so many stories of all kinds could be the reason why many are believed to be haunted. Hospital staff constantly share their most spine-tingling stories, and some have even allegedly been caught on tape. So we've gathered our top 10 scariest hospital stories just for you. Do you have a frightening hospital tale? Tell us about it in the comments section below and subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications of our videos as soon as they're available. Number 10, Rocking Chair Nurse. This story comes straight out of the horse's mouth from a nurse forum. See, in a suburban hospital, things can get dull. The big city life comes with its dangers and everyday oddities in a hospital. So in a lesser transited facility, you start to notice more patterns. These nurses noticed that one room was always the last to be occupied because every patient placed in it would complain at night. Now, this could be because it had a particularly drafty vent or it was perhaps too close to the nurse's station. Sadly, no. It was the frightening allegation that a nurse would sit in a rocking chair in the corner late at night. She never made eye contact, but rather rocked eerily while staring out the window. Every hospital might have its own urban legends, but when you hear a story enough times from different patients, you have to start wondering. Number 9. A Medical School in Honduras in a Honduras hospital, it's said that a doctor haunts the hallways after he committed suicide. In this alleged candid video, someone is seen walking through a hallway. In the shot, we see several hospital beds, a trash bin, an exit at the end of the hallway, as well as a room door. The camera starts backing away when suddenly a shape peeks out of the door and appears to look directly at the camera. It seems like the shape could be a person, maybe under a hood, but no distinct features can be made out. Then the shape walks out of the doorway, where it looks a lot more human, while the cameraman walks away and into a different hallway. Whether it's real or not, we can't say, but that hallway looks terrifying either way. Number 8. Mother Maggie some people who encountered ghosts in their home would move, while some people, like me, like to name my ghosts. In this case, we're speaking of a home for mentally disabled teens. Before the state bought the house to make it into the healing facility, one of the former owners, Margaret, died in the house. So, of course, residents started seeing an elderly woman who they started referring to as Maggie. Strange occurrences would be attributed to her, like the televisions that would randomly switch channels and turn on and off. One nurse claimed to be abused by Maggie, claiming that the house would provoke her, tripping her with carpet and pointing knives at her. Number 7. Angel of Death Children who pass away in hospitals can go either way, whether they're like the child in Argentina, welcomed and known by the staff, or this one, who took patients with him into a cloud of death. This little boy, seen firsthand by staff at a hospital, goes into patients' rooms to try to wake them. He's loud and runs around, childlike and normal. Patients will ask the staff to help, as they can't get any sleep. Why are children being let loose to run around rooms, they'd wonder. But no such children existed. Sometimes those patients would die that same night or just days after. Number 6. Scary Betty Betty was a patient in a long-term care unit. Independent and capable, she only asked for help to bathe. A few months prior, she was hospitalized with pneumonia, which forced her back into the facility. Not long after, she passed away after complications from falling out of her bed 
leaving the entire staff devastated. She had been so stubborn about asking for help after growing weak, they clearly felt she died before her time. They kept the bed empty after that, but the call light would turn on for her room in the nurse's station. Could it be a call for help, a sign of forgiveness, or a last goodbye? Number five, time of death, uncomfortable. Now here's something that'll give you nightmares. When called in to verify the death of a patient, a man found himself face to face with an unexpected sight. The patient was an elderly lady who passed, as one would have expected, of old age. Once he approached her in her dark room, he heard the blinds knock against the window and saw her in her death pose. For some strange reason, she died with a snarl on her face. Her eyes were wide open and her hands were posed as claws by her head, her nails long with a terrifying look in her eyes. Number 4. Child Ghost in Argentina In this video, we watch as nurses apparently capture footage of a well-known child ghost at their hospital in Argentina. The camera operator points at a corner under a portable cot. If you look closely, you can faintly see a figure peeking out. The nurse seems surprisingly calm, calling out to the supposed child ghost in Spanish by saying things like, come out and come here, as if trying to communicate with fellow staff while catching the apparition's attention. This was clearly not the first time they saw this little girl. In fact, they believe she's a former patient who died in room 500 of their hospital. Other staff and patients' families have seen her or had strange encounters, but now, if the video is any sign, they're pretty used to her and almost treat her with endearment. Number 3. Barely Escaping Death This isn't exactly a ghost story, but it's definitely gruesome. A nurse shared her experience of being in the ER while a baby was delivered from a woman who had just passed away, her brain exposed and no pulse. The 23-year-old woman had been shot in the head and died while pregnant. When the physicians realized that the baby was full term and could still survive, they did a quick C-section to get the baby out. Number 2. Leave the Lights On Standing at the nurse's station late at night has to be a breeding ground for scary thoughts. What if my patients die? What if I make a mistake? Or even worse, what if something ungodly comes out? This is the case for a student nurse in a nursing home. To help the residents sleep, the staff would turn half the lights off at night. One night, the nurse saw a call light turn on and looked up to find, in the hallway, on all fours, their most frightening patient. She was in the hospital mostly for mental reasons. She began crawling toward the nurse after having climbed out of bed. With her long, dark hair and posture, under the dim hospital lights, she would have been enough reason for any nurse to quit. This nurse, though, just took a deep breath, helped the patient, and attempted to get her heart rate back to normal. Number 1. Caught on CCTV In this hospital in China, a recently deceased woman appears to be lying in a dark hallway covered by a white sheet. Perhaps it's late at night, or the area of the hospital that doesn't have much activity, as it appears dark and alone. In the footage, we see the woman rise from the bed to a sitting position, but the sheet remains intact. The apparent spirit that sits up then floats away, leaving the body behind. Is this video proof that there's part of us that has somewhere to go after we die? Thanks for watching. While you may want to stay away from hospitals altogether now, here are four things to do that aren't strange or scary at all. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and share a comment below about any scary hospital stories you know about.